Hi there, this is Seng once again from Chanson Water Canada. Today I'll be featuring two filters, um, the Only Pure Inline filters. Um, basically, two of them, one of them is a fluoride reduction aluminum, active aluminum filter. This filter is to remove added fluoride to the, your water. And the other one is a basically a half calcite, half GAC. Even though it's this chlorine reduction, it's actually a remineralizer for me. Okay, here in Vancouver. Okay, so GVRD water. So if you need it, then this is the one that you need. If you need to remove added fluoride like those in uh, GTA, Greater Toronto Region uh, area uh, water, then you need this one here okay and the, f the filter is like this and it come all both of them either one of them comes with the end fittings okay and four zip straps and two clips over here okay you see how it's installed later um the teflon tape is optional you you may be able to get may need this or may not need this so you gotta get it in either home depot or your local hardware store okay and in the kit it does come with either one of this okay this is a 3 8 hose and this is a quarter inch hose okay the dip how you know is you take a pinky and if you put it over it and it's almost the same size as the the tube that's 3 8 if you put it over this one here it's only about half the size of it so um, the pinky will be a finger you see it is okay it's a lot smaller than a finger the finger okay all right the pinky so quarter inch is really small so choose one whichever one you want and it it does work for even universal filters too so don't worry about it. Just if you know how it works, you 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 you'll be able to use this. Okay. So right now I'm just going to show you the chanson unit. And first we'll set. And here we go. Okay. And so this filter here, we're going to be using this one here as example because I'll be using it later for my own. Okay. And before we start. This is how we're gonna do. We're gonna take a pop out the ends. And on this end here with the arrow, you're gonna screw in the one with the 90 degrees elbow. Okay. And the other end, um, the opposite of the arrow, you get to screw in the straight fitting. That's the reason why I made it like this. Okay. And if you do need, then you need to use a wrench, then do use it. But just turn the filter housing, not the wrench, because you may over tighten it. Okay. Do not over tighten and just tighten enough just so that it doesn't bottom out. Okay, so just before you bottom out, just stop and you feel the tightness. Okay, all right. Um, if, if, if it does leak, then you do need to use Teflon tape. So you got to check for the leaks later. So once it's like this, um, I already pre installed two zap straps on it. I'm going to slide it over so that it doesn't fall off. Okay. How you do it is that if you if it's not there, you just let it sit there. You go underneath and then go around. Okay. And you strap it on, okay? Strap it in, 
and make sure that it doesn't fall off and make sure this doesn't come off then you know it's done properly next shut off the water the cold water to the machine shut it off to the filter and then relieve some pressure by turning on either your transom water ionizer or your drinking faucet okay next on the incoming line where the water is going towards the filter this is going towards the filter just imagine this going towards the filter you're going to cut it off okay cut it off all right once it's like this okay you could install it to here push it make sure you push it in deep enough okay and you can leave it like this all right or you can make it tidy up a little bit it's up to you your option okay now next the other part of where you turn off where you cut it off you can either use the extension that um, I will be providing or if you could you could just simply just pop it back in okay make sure there's no stress on the line or anything so I do recommend using the extra line that I provide this is just for video installation next you're gonna take the two clips provided okay and then see this one here has a tab tab most of them will have it the tab will be facing the line not the fitting so when you put it in If it does pop out like this, that means it's not sitting deep in there. Okay, and then if it does, then the tap will open up, and then once it's sit in there deep enough, this will sit properly. Okay, so it's the other side. So just put it on. Okay. And the clip will not come off okay so this clips will never come off anymore the reason why you have it is so that it doesn't pop off okay make sure you give it a tug so that it doesn't uh, come off then after that um, make sure all lines are ready before you turn on the water back on okay the re so this is how it works now from the tap from the tee off it goes into the new filter the inline filter it can be either with the remineralizer or any one of, of the fluoride filter and it can go in comes out and go right into the c3 okay and then that's it and you can just if all lines are secure you can turn the water back on and you're good and then check for leaks okay so turn, just imagine it just turn on the water and then check for the leaks, especially where you just install, where you just install here, and make sure, give it a run, and then make sure all this will not fall out, and you're all good, okay? So, next thing I'm gonna teach you is, just imagine the water is shut off, just imagine the water is shut off, okay? Remove the clip, and I'm just gonna show you how to remove this tube for, for the future, okay? So, just, on this tab, push it in, you see it go in, and slowly we got the tube out. Okay? And for it to go back in, you don't have to do that, just push it back in. Okay? Once more, put your two fingers at the end of the fitting, okay? And push it out, and pull it out. Okay? Pull it out, push it in, pressed. On the tab and that's it and then remember to put it put back okay all right that's it it's that simple
if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down anyway hit the like and subscribe button so it helps me and it helps others find these filters and then and another thing if you guys have any question just comment below so that i can help you or email me or call me all right okay so i'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory thank you have a great day bye